Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Viper 70mm. Today I'll be programming this DX6E transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum DX G2 radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down towards the bottom of the list here to System Setup. Click on System Setup and you'll see we get a warning letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck, meaning there'll be no signal being sent out from our transmitter. Click on Yes. And now scroll down to Model Select. Click on Model Select and then scroll down to the very bottom of this list and click on Add New Model. Click on Create. And this will give us a completely blank, brand new model. Now scroll down to Model Name and we'll give the model a name. Starting with the first character, I'll name this one Viper 70. Once the model is named, we can push the back button and now scroll down to aircraft type and click on aircraft type. Scroll down to where it says wing normal and click on wing normal. And scroll to the right until we get to one aileron, one flap. And then click on one aileron, one flap. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps and it enables our flap system. Now push the back button twice to return back to the home screen. And we'll click the scroll wheel. And now scroll down to DR and Expo and click. And here we can set up our dual rates and exponential. Starting with the aileron channel, since that's what's already selected, scroll down to where it says switch on to select a switch for your aileron dual rates. The manual suggests we use the F switch for our aileron dual rates. So we'll scroll to the right until we get to switch F and then click on switch F. With switch F in the zero position, that will be our high rate position. We will leave those rates at 100%. However, we need to add an expo of 10%. So we'll scroll over to the expo column, click on those zeros and scroll to the right to bump them up to 10% and click to lock them in. Now we'll flip the F switch down to the one position, the low rate position, and now we'll adjust the rates down to 70%. So click on the 100s and scroll left to bring them down to 70%. Click to lock it in. And now we need to add an expo of 5%. Click on those zeros, scroll to the right, until we get to 5% and then click to lock it in. Now we'll verify the aileron dual rates are working, flipping back to zero, the high rates, 100%, 10% expo, flipping down to low rates, we get 70% with 5% expo. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. We'll scroll up to where it says aileron and click, scroll right to adjust it to elevator, Scroll down to where it says switch on to select an elevator switch. And this time the manual recommends we use the C switch for the elevator dual rates. So we'll scroll to the right till we get to switch C and click. And just like before, C switch in the zero position is our high rates, so that should be 100%, but we need to add expo of 10%. Now we'll flip the C-switch to the low position, position 1, and now we'll bring those dual rates down to 70% and add an expo of 5%. Verify it's working, flipping back to the high rate position. We have 100% rates with 10% expo, and then the low rate position, 70% rates with 5% expo. Now finally, let's do the rudder channel. Scroll up to where it says elevator and click. Scroll to the right to get to rudder. 
Now we'll scroll down to where it says switch on. And this time we'll use the G switch. So scroll to the right until we get to switch G and click. Switch G in the zero position will be 100% rates, but we need to add an expo of 10%. Now we'll flip the G switch to the one position, the low rate position, and we'll drop the rates down to 70%. And add an expo of 5%. Now we can flip the G switch to see that it's working. And it is. Now push the back button and scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut and now scroll down to where it says inhibit and click and scroll to the right to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used as a throttle cut switch. That's the switch I'll be using. Click on switch H and we can see that just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut position to negative 100%. That's exactly what we want. So long as our throttle cut is switched on, our throttle channel is now locked in at negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now push the back button and we'll scroll down to flap system to set up our flaps. Click on flap system and here we can set up our flaps. Scroll down to where it says inhibit and click and scroll to the right until we get to switch D. Click on switch D, and now we can set up our flap positions. For position zero, the flap value should be negative 100%. So we'll scroll down to that zero there in the flap column, click, and scroll left to get to negative 100%. and click to lock it in. And no elevator mix is needed for the zero position, so we'll leave that at zero. Position one should be set to negative 25%, so click on the zero in the flap column for position one, and scroll left until we get to negative 25. Click to lock it in, and now add an elevator mix of 11%. Click on the zero in the elevator column for position one, scroll right to 11%. And now for position two, that flap value should be positive 50%. So we'll click on the zero in the flap column and scroll right until we get to 50%. Click to lock it in. And finally, add an elevator mix of 11%. Now our flaps are working, but they're moving too quickly. Scroll down to where it says speed norm, click on norm, and scroll right to slow the flaps down a little bit. We'll slow them down to 2.0 seconds. So we get to 2.0 seconds and click, and now we can see the flaps move at a more slow scale speed. Now we can push the back button twice to return back to the main menu. And now this DX6E is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight Viper 70 millimeter. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Viper 70 millimeter. Today I'll be programming this NX6 transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum NX radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the scroll wheel and scroll all the way down to System Setup. Click on System Setup and you'll see we get a warning screen letting us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck, meaning there'll be no signal being sent out from our transmitter. Click on Yes. And now scroll down to Model Select. 
click on Model Select, and now scroll down towards the bottom until we find Add New Model. Click on Add New Model, and then click on Create. This will give us a brand new, completely blank model on our transmitter. Let's start by giving it a name. Scroll down to Model Name, and starting with the first character, I'll name this one Viper 70. With the model named, push the back button twice. And now scroll down to aircraft type. Click on aircraft type. And now scroll down to where it says wing normal. Click on wing normal. And scroll to the right until we get to one aileron, one flap. And click. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons and one channel controlling our flaps. It also enables our flap system menu. Now we can push the back button twice to return to the home screen. And now click the scroll wheel and we'll scroll down to DR and Expo and click. And here we can set up our dual rates and exponential. Starting with the aileron channel, since that's what's already selected, scroll down to where it says switch on to select the aileron dual rate switch. Click on switch on and scroll to the right until we get to switch F. Switch F is a three position switch, but we will only be utilizing two of the positions for high and low rates. With the F switch in the zero position, that'll be our high rate position. We will leave those rates at 100%. However, we need to add an Expo of 10%. So we'll scroll up to where it says Expo and click on those zeros and scroll to the right to bring it up to 10%. Now we can flip the F switch down to the one position, our low rate position. And now we'll set these rates down to 70%. Click on the 100s and scroll left to bring them down to 70%. Now we need to add an Expo of 5%. So we'll scroll down to those zeros and click and scroll to the right to bump them up to 5% and click to lock it in. Now we'll verify that switch is working by flipping back up to the zero position, our high rates. There we have our 100% with 10% Expo. And then checking our low rates. There we have 70% with 5% Expo. Now let's do the same for our elevator and rudder channel. Scroll up to where it says aileron and click. Scroll to the right and select elevator. Scroll down to where it says switch on to select an elevator dual rate switch. And the manual recommends the C switch as our elevator dual rate switch. So we'll select switch C. Switch C in the zero position will be higher rates. We'll leave those rates at 100%, but add an Expo of 10%. Flip the C switch down to the one position for our low rate position. And we'll bring those rates down to 70%. And add an Expo of 5%. Verify they're working, and it is. And now finally, let's do the rudder channel. Click on where it says elevator, scroll to the right, select rudder. And for the rudder channel, we'll be using the G switch. So scroll to the right and select switch G. The G switch in the zero position, we'll leave that at 100%, but add an Expo of 10%. Flip the G switch to the one position, our low rate position, and bump those rates down to 70%. And add an Expo of 5%. And there we can see it's working. Now push the back button and scroll down to throttle cut. Click on throttle cut. Scroll down to where it says inhibit and click on inhibit and scroll to the right to select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used as a throttle cut switch. That's the switch I'll be using. Click on switch H, and there we can see it automatically sets the throttle cut position to negative 100%, and that's exactly what we want. So long as our throttle cut is on, our throttle channel is now locked in at negative 100%.
This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now push the back button. And now let's scroll down to flap system to set up our flaps. Click on flap system and then scroll down to inhibit and click on inhibit to select a flap switch. The manual recommends the D switch for the flap switch. So click on switch D. And for position zero, the flap value should be negative 100%. So we'll scroll up to that zero in the flap column, click and scroll left until we bring it down to negative 100%. Click on the negative 100 and no elevator mix will be necessary for position zero. For position one, the flap value should be negative 25%. So we'll scroll down to that zero and click and scroll to the left until we get to negative 25% and then click to lock it in. And then add an elevator mix of 11%. For position two, the flap value should be 55%. So we'll click on that zero and now scroll to the right to get up to 55% and then click to lock it in. And finally, add an elevator mix of 11%. Click to lock it in. Now we can see our flaps are moving like they should However, they move too quickly. Scroll down to where it says speed norm and we can slow them down. We'll scroll to the right until we get to 2.0 seconds. And now we can see the flaps come down at a more slow scale speed. Now push the back button twice to return back to the home screen. And now this NX6 is programmed and ready to fly the E-Flight Viper 70 millimeter. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight Viper 70 millimeter. Today I'll be programming this IX14 transmitter, but these programming instructions are applicable for all Spectrum IX radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. Click the little orange marker at the top left hand side of the screen and then click proceed. Click the three orange dots at the top right hand side of the screen and now select add new model. Default. Airplane. Create. And this gives us a completely blank brand new model on the transmitter. Let's scroll down to the bottom of this list to find it. There it is, our new model, Acro. Click on Acro. And now let's give it a name. Click on where it says Acro again to name it. And I'll delete what's in there. And I'll call this one Viper 70. With the model named, click Done and then push the back button twice. Now we're back at the home screen. Click on where it says model setup. Aircraft type. Proceed. Click on wing. And now click on one aileron, one flap. One aileron, one flap means we'll have one channel controlling our ailerons, and one channel controlling our flaps. It also enables our flap system menu. Now we can push the back button twice to return back to the home screen and now click on model adjust. Click on dual rates and expo and we can set up our dual rates. Starting with the aileron channel, since that's what's already selected, we'll set up our aileron dual rates. Click on where it says switch on to select an aileron dual rate switch. The manual recommends we use the F switch for our aileron dual rates. So scroll to find switch F and then click. Switch F is a three position switch, but we will only be utilizing two of the positions, zero and one. The zero position is our high rate position. So we'll leave those rates at 100%. However, we need to add an expo of 10%. 
So click the zeros in the Expo column and bump those up to 10% and OK to lock them in. Now flip the F switch down to the one position for our low rate position. And now we need to bring these dual rates down to 70%. So click on the 100s in the dual rate column and drag them down to 70%. And OK to lock them in. Now click on the zeros in the Expo column and we'll bump those up to 5% and then OK to lock it in. Now we can see that our F switch is set up on the aileron channel for aileron dual rates. 0% are high rates. 1 is our low rates. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channel. Click on where it says aileron and now select elevator. Click on where it says switch on to select a switch. And for the elevator channel, the manual recommends we use the C switch. So click on switch C. And with the C switch in the zero position, it's our high rates. We'll leave the rates at 100%. Click on the zeros in the expo column and bump that up to 10%. And okay to lock them in. Flip the C switch to the low rate position, the one position. And now click on the rates and bring them down to 70%. OK to lock them in. And now the zeros in the Expo column bump those up to 5%. Now we can test to see that it's working. Flip the C switch back to the zero position. We have our elevator high rates, 100%. Flip down to the one position for our elevator low rates, and there we've got 70%. Now finally, let's do the rudder channel. Click on where it says elevator, and now click on rudder. Click on where it says switch on. And for the rudder channel, the manual recommends we use switch G. So click on switch G. With the G switch in the zero position, that's our high rates, so we'll leave those at 100%. Click on the zeros in the Expo column and bump those up to 10%. And then OK to lock them in. Flip the G switch down to the one position for our low rate position. Click on the 100% in the rate column and we'll drag those down to 70%. OK to lock them in. And now add Expo of 5%. And OK to lock it in. Test to see that it's working, and it is. Now our dual rates are set. Push the back button, and now click on throttle cut. Click on inhibit, and select a throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used as a throttle cut switch. That's the one I'll be using. So choose switch H. And we can see that just by choosing a throttle cut switch, it automatically sets the throttle cut position to negative 100%. That's exactly what we want. So long as our throttle cut is on, our throttle channel is now locked in at negative 100%. This is very important when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. Now push the back button and now click on flap system. Click on Inhibit to select a flap switch. And the manual recommends the D switch for our flap switch. So click on switch D. The flap value for the zero position should be negative 100%. So click on the zero in the flap column for position zero and drag that all the way down to negative 100%. And then hit OK to lock it in. No elevator mix is needed for position zero, so we'll leave that at 0%. For position one, we need to set that zero to negative 25. So click on the zero in the position one column and drag it down to negative 25. And OK to lock it in. Now click on the zero in the elevator mix column for position one, and we need to bump that up to 11% and OK to lock it in. 
For position two, the flat value should be set to 55%. So click on the zero in position two and bump that up to 55%. and OK to lock it in. And finally, we'll click on the zero for the elevator mix and bump that up to 11%. Now our flaps are set and they're moving as they should. However, they move a little too quickly. Click on these zeros in the speed column there and let's bump that up to 2.0 seconds to slow the flaps down. Now we can see when we flip the flap switch, the flaps move at a slower, more scale pace. Now we can push the back button back to the main menu. And now this IX-14 is programmed and ready to fly the Viper 70 millimeter. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial.